Ken Thomas, Wall Street Journal. Meeting that you did not want, uh, you did not want uh, competition to turn into conflict. Um, based on this meeting today, do you believe a, a new Cold War with China can be avoided? And specifically on the issue of Taiwan, you spoke about intentions. Do you believe China is preparing, intending to invade tai Taiwan at some point? And what warnings did you issue to President Xi if he were to take such action? Well, to answer the first part of your question, I absolutely believe there need not be a new Cold War. We uh, — I've met, met many times with Xi Jinping, and we were candid and clear with one another across the board. And I do not think there's any imminent attempt on the part of China to invade Taiwan. And uh, I made it clear that our policy on Taiwan has not changed at all. It's the same exact position we've had. I made it clear that we want to see cross-strait issues peacefully resolved, and, uh, and so it never has to come to that. And uh, I'm convinced that, uh, that he understood exactly what I was saying. I understood what he was saying. And uh, look, I think the United States is better prepared than any country in the world, economically and politically, to deal with the changing circumstances around the world. And uh, I think that uh, um, I think Xi Jinping is uh, we agreed that we would set up a set of circumstances where on issues that were that we had to f further resolve details, we agreed that we would have our chief of staff our the appropriate cabinet members and others sit and meet with one another to discuss the details of any every issue that we that was raised. And we raised a lot of issues. Um, uh, uh, Sung uh, Kim, uh, Associated Press. That's the president uh, on a three-leg trip, as you know, to Egypt, Cambodia, and now Indonesia uh, in Bali at the G20, talking about his um, first in-person meeting with President Xi. Uh, obviously, the headline's going to be, he was clear and I was clear. I'm not looking for conflict, Jim. I want to manage this competition responsibly. Well, look, I... He may not be looking for a conflict, but there were two ways to approach trying to rein in China. One was Trump's way of putting on tariffs, which did affect Americans. And the other is to go after their military uh, and make their military second rate by not using any of our semiconductors. And uh, I don't uh, understand how you can have anything other than a, a pretty forceful competition. David, you know this. I mean, our semiconductors are far better than anybody else's. You can't really make uh, what I would regard as really serious, forward-looking weapons unless you have our semiconductors. Right. And they have second-rate semiconductors. And we're trying to make sure they don't get a hold of them. Right. And more importantly, they're trying to make sure that they don't get a hold of ASM and they don't get a hold of uh, applied materials. Yep. You know, those are you, – you really have to stop them from getting those machines, KLA.